What? Who needs one? Well, you, of course. <laughs> That's right. You need one of these. And everyone watching, well, anyone who collect retro video games, that is. I'm going to tell you why you need a CD-ROM drive in 2023. As the world shifts into its digital landscape, I have a soft spot for physical media. Now, I know there's so much convenience with digital media. There is. I love being able just to turn on a console, launch Steam, download a game real quick, and away we go. But when it comes to physical media, we have a lot of these games on the shelf. And maybe it's the collector in me, but I'm always going to be partial to the physical media. It's just something about it. I love reading the manual, love taking out the disc, grabbing the cartridge. Just I love the physical media of these video games. I've been preaching this for so many years. I wanted to do a video on this. You need a CD-ROM drive, DVD-ROM drive, or in today's world, it's going to be a Blu-ray drive. This here is just an LG Blu-ray reader. Say that 10 times fast. This is going to be your next best friend. This is going to bring a whole new life to your optical media in your physical video games. Now, you're going to take advantage of this through emulation. Every time I stream this online, people always ask, wow, the game looks amazing. What are you using? How are you doing this? And I keep saying, I am launching the game through the computer. I am launching it from the disc, running it through the emulator, and and I'm upscaling it to 1080p or 4K or whatever have you. And I think it's great to use the technology that we have. Use your hardware, use your computer's hardware, use your GPU, your CPU. Let's go ahead and use the horsepower of your PC, up res these games and just kick them into overdrive. And you do it by way of this. We have a lot of games. I mean, what if you wanted to play Buster Bros? I mean, look at this. This is the, the collection here. This wasn't ever released on anything other than PlayStation. Maybe you want to play Hummer Badlands on PS2. Uh, you know, maybe you want to play some shovelware. You know, maybe you wanted to play Mary Kate and Ashley Sweets. No! Jesus. Maybe you wanted to play Motor Tune Grand Prix. Oh, yes, yes, maybe you did, because this is such a fantastic game. It was never ported to anything else in the world. And it's the very early, early days of polyphony. Yes, the same people who made Gran Turismo. Have you ever heard of this one? Well, let's go ahead and launch it on the uh, emulator and I'll show it to you in full up glory. So it's simple. If you have one of these on your computer already, you don't need to do anything. You just pop the disc in, launch the emulator, and away you go. But if you don't, you could go buy one. Maybe you just wanted to get a physical one like this. You could also buy this newer tech USB universal drive adapter. And I'll leave links in the description below where you can buy this stuff on Amazon. But this here connects to your hard drive by using old school pin connectors. It brings power, data, and you can plug that right into your computer via USB, and away you go. You could also get external ones that just plug in USB. That'd probably be the easiest way. But here's what I'm saying. If you have a couple of these laying around from an old PC or something, you still can connect them in there. Pretty easy to do. Okay. Now that I have the disc in the drive, I'm going to go ahead and pop on over to my main scene on my desktop here. So here we are. And I am running uh, EPSXE. This is 2.0.5. This is a great emulator. It's been around a long time. And what I love most about it is that you just... Download it, put in your disk, and it works. A lot of the default settings are ready to go. Uh, maybe I'll do a video later on about settings and upresing and all that, but for now, I'm gonna just show you how this works. I have a USB adapter as well, which allows me to plug in my PlayStation 2 controller. So I'm using an analog, a real analog Sony PlayStation controller, which you know gives you that, that authentic feel. But all you do is you hit file and you can boot from CD-ROM. Put on my headphones so I can hear it. And boom, look, we're already in, just like that. And I have this up res to 1080p, and I have some Yo, of the enhancements on there. The awesome I'm going to go ahead and just skip right into it, and I'll just play a little bit of the, just to show you that it's working here. And again, if you haven't ever played this game, definitely give it a shot. Motor Tune Grand Prix, super Three. underrated. It's a fantastic little kind of RC no. racer with what they wanted to have realistic handling. It's really kind of fun and quirky and cute. You know, in the world of kart racers, this one definitely stands out. It's got your weapons here. Yeah! Now, look at this, though. I mean, I'm playing this. Oh, yeah. Right here on the computer. It's looking fantastic. The views are amazing in this game, too. Look at this. This reminds me of virtual racing. I love the helicopter cam like this. I think all racing games need a helicopter cam like this. It's just beautiful. 
Uh oh. So anyway, there it is. There's a demonstration of it. I just wanted to make a video and show you the immense value that a a DVD-ROM, a CD-ROM, or even a Blu-ray drive has in today's world. And I, I say this all the time when I'm live streaming and people are, are asking about the games. This is the ticket right here. This is the token. So. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, yeah, I hope I can help shed some new light on your optical media. You know, there's a lot of great emulators out there uh, for all these optical consoles. And the thing is, is that we've come so far with technology, with our PCs and computing, that we have the horsepower now to really drive these games and make them look fantastic. And so for me personally, instead of hooking up the, the PlayStation 2, you know, or, or the Sega Saturn or 3DO even, you know, I can take full advantage of the computer's hardware and run these games right off the disc. It's fantastic. I could play any of my games right here on the computer and I just love it. So pick up those retro games, and start playing them on the emulator. So <laughs> it really is an awesome time. So again, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye now.